Dating start. Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepare without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on... Press C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. I think you already did that. Did I? Whoops. I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. <laughs> Human. I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yeah. <laughs> really? Wowie. I guess that means if it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Oh crap, we're gonna get stuck on this one, aren't we? Wait a second. Wear clothing? That bandana around your head. You're wearing, you're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? <gasps> yes! No. You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, your dating power. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. Oh, I recognize this music. I found it randomly for the outro, but this is great. Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the Great Poppers, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold. Oh man, it, it, it's it's great. I love it. What do you think of my secret style? No. Genuine compliments. <laughs> However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. The date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Inspector Z. Is it the hat? I feel like it's the hat. My hat? My hat. My hat. <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Okay. <gasps> Do you know what this is? Oh, it's totally spaghetti, isn't it? Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Yes, that is exactly what I'm thinking. Come on, tell me it's spaghetti. Right. But oh, so wrong. This ain't, on, this ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti finely aged in oaken cast. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Oh, no, 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 no. What if I refuse? What happens if I'll, 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 eat it, I'll eat it? You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking, and by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Uh, uh. And that just went at his face. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you, I, Papyrus. I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, oh shoot, human, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I, I, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me, but alas, I, the Great Pappers, have failed. I just, I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. 
<sighs> How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep you... I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose such a friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. <laughs> because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for the, sec the second best. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> well, damn. I think I won, but I feel like I lost. I feel like I lost so badly. So, so badly. Hey, sons, can I come in now? And it's still locked. I never asked about this. It's a painting of a cartoon bone. Uh. Yeah, let's let's try calling him. B -b -b -bum. Oh, let's, let's call Toriel. But nobody came. So sad. Ring, ring. This is where I tried to capture you. What a terrible memory. Oh. Why is the fog coming back? No reason, I guess. Hmm. Ooh, what is this? This is absolutely nothing. It just happens to be there. Okay. Good to know, I guess. Oh, Sans! Sans! What? Have you seen a gal two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs just means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Crisby's, wanna come? You know, yeah, yeah, sure. Well, you insist I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. That shortcut, huh? <laughs> yep, quite fast indeed. Hey, everyone. Greetings, Sans. Hi, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah. I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> here, get comfy. Did I... Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions down in the seats. Weirdos like me. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Oh, what am I in the mood for? Um... Oh, my stomach's been sort of upset lately. Uh... I, I could go for a good burger. Put some pickles and lettuce on it. Um, heavy pickles, some lettuce to ease and... Uh, cancel out some of the sharpness of the pickle taste. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Good be. We're gonna have a double order of burg. So, what do you think? My brother. Eh. He's funny. So I think he's cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. You'd only take that thing off if you absolutely had to. Oh, well, well at least he washes it. By that I mean he wears it in the shower. <laughs> That is one burger. Oh, no, I see the other one. Never mind. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? You know, yeah, I put ketchup on my burgers. Boom, appetite. You tip the ketchup, and the cat falls off. And the, oh, crap, I should have seen this coming. And all the ketchup in the bottle pours into your food. Whoops. <laughs> Forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyways. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Peppers tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went through the house at the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. And it's, a uh, still a work in progress. Oh, yeah, I want to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yes, I have. So you know all about it. 
The Echo Flower. I did not know that. And why is it called an Echo Flower? Does that have something to do with my character's name? They're all over the marsh. Say something to them. And they repeat it over. No, that is not what I was talking about. What about it? Well, Pappers told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Oh, so is Flowey not really what I think? Well, that was a long break. I can't believe it if I let you pull, pull me. I can't believe it. I can't believe. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just nope, 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 nope. Just kidding. Good to be put on my tab. I'm sorry, but no, I'm 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 not falling into that. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Of course you forgot. Can I have the burger? Nope. Uh, same thing. Uh, well... Well, that was... That was unexpected. Oh, where'd the kid go? Ah, uh, whatever. Oh, this is where the kid went. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up, and I have no idea who you're talking about. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. I don't know who your parents are either. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last... Okay. I get it. It doesn't look like flowy at all, though. Sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Oh, can, I, can I do something with the water? Then? Nope. Absolutely not. Anything else to say, sons? Yeah, let's hang out again sometime. Sure. Sure, man, you're probably the coolest person in this game by far. This is a box. You can, oh, yep, yeah, same box as normal. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. This is a box. You can put an item in the box. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hate. Oh, my. Oh, my. This box hater is getting pretty, pretty out there. Oh crap. Okay. Ooh, an echo flower. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Ooh. Okay, this might be harder than I thought it would be. Okay, I'll be... Um, I'll probably just cut to when I win this. Ooh, what is it? There's a... Tutu. Sure? Got the old... Tutu. Great. Finally a protective piece of armor. <laughs> This is the only one in the game, too, or something like that. I could, I could totally see that being a thing. No, 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 no. Okay. Whoa. What is up with this lighting? Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Um, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Hmm? Did I fight them? Uh, uh, yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself. But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them, you see? You see? understand. I'll help you in any way I can. There's no response. God damn it, Pepper, don't
Oh crap. What did I do? Uh. Uh. Oh, I hope this is supposed to happen. Oh god. Wow, one dine's pretty fucking creepy. Okay, moving, moving. Holy shit, what were you doing there? Yo, did you see the see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. Okay, that's who we're looking at? What do you do to get her attention? Come on, let's go watch her beat the... Oh my goodness. This fucking kid. This fucking kid. What's gonna... What's gonna fulfill my determination now? Being betrayed? A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Not a good sign. Not a good sign. Oh crap. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Okay. So I just have to line these up. Seems like I did the trick. And there's nothing over here, so I'm just gonna go through the precariously and there's a crack there I feel like that has something to do with something but I don't have no idea what Aaron flexes in <laughs> does it have to be four Yes, it does have to be four, and do they all have to be up next to each other? Apparently they do. Okay. If an error is made, the bell blossom can call the bird seeds back to where they started. Okay. Okay, I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to put this, so... Mm -hmm. Congratulations, you failed the puzzle. Yep, I thought that might happen. Oopsie daisy. I gotta be honest, I really don't see the solution. Maybe I'm just stupid right now. This might work if I just line them all up from here. You know what? This actually is probably the solution. Yay, I did it! I guess. Hello? This is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> so, uh, what are you wearing? I'm, uh, asking for friends. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? We say, nah. So you aren't wearing a dusty tutu? Got it. You're my friend, so I trust you 100%. Have a nice day. Oh, I lied to him. Mmm. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes into the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. They're pretty, though. Probably about as good as stars look in this graphics, in this art style. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Boy, these seem really... It seems like really devoted <laughs> flowers. Rub a dum dum. Shit, that 
soap. I don't want soap. Get away from me, soap. Mm. Come on, sis, make a wish. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. Look through the telescope. Sure. Check wall. Okay. Check wall. Okay. Which wall? Ah, uh, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. What does it mean, check wall? Wishing room. Do you have a wish? <laughs> I have one. I wish I was talking to my cool friend. Look, it's coming true. Oh, I, um... If, some, if, if anyone knows where exactly this uh, check the wall thing is, because I think I've checked the... Is this the wall? Is this really what it was? Oh my goodness. I wasn't even... I would have done that anyways. Oh, what's this? Ancient writing covers the wall. You can just make out the words, the war of humans and monsters. Why did humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. They would take the soul of nearly every monster. Just to equal the power of a single human soul. Humans have one weakness, ironically. It is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside of the human body, even after death. And... If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Ooh. I hope there isn't one of those coming up soon. Nah, you can do it. Oh, God, she's coming back, isn't she? Yes, I'm wearing a dusty tutu. It's okay. Okay, running, running. Running, 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 running. Yes, you're very good at throwing spears. Crap. Don't kill me. Do you have a human soul? Because you're really fucking powerful. Of course it's him. Her. I, f I don't even fucking know. I don't care. What, you're just gonna give up? Huh. What a fucking scary beast. Oh, yeah, he must, he, she must be excited. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me? Oh, I'm never washing my face again. Man, are you unlucky. If you were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. That's the unfortunate part. We definitely will. Especially if you keep fucking following me. Oh my goodness, is it cheese? This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. I can never take the damn cheese. But I can always get the mouse. Squeak. <laughs> Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, crystal, it fills you with determination. Okay. Well, I'm done for the day. Hopefully. Uh, hopefully I don't die really soon. So. That's everything I got. Adios. See you on my next recording, which will probably have an episode coming out the day after this.
presumably. Adios.